வணக்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ட்ரினிட்டி கல்ச்சுரல் அகாடமி கோயம்புத்தூர் இன் கொலாபரேஷன் வித் நியூ இந்தியா பப்ளிஷிங் ஏஜென்சி நியூ டெல்லி வெல்கம்ஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஃபார் திஸ் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் and uh, the presentation will be on techniques of hybrid seed production uh, three line method okay and we have discussed uh, one line method and two line method in the previous uh, presentation and uh, this uh, hybrid uh, seed production techniques is one of the topic in plant breeding and genetics and uh, this is being prepared by dr onangamudi he was the former dean of uh, agriculture uh, agriculture college and research institute coimbatore and uh, now we will see the what are all the techniques that are involved in hybrid seed production and single line breeding that is the first one that we have seen um, about this in the previous uh, uh, presentation and the second one is two line breeding and we have presented uh, all uh, details about this in the previous uh, presentation and uh, in the two line breeding there are uh, different uh, methods and the first one is the mechanical method hand emasculation and pollination that is being followed in cotton brinjal chilli and bendi tomato as well and detasseling that is uh, being carried out only in maize and uh, these topics have been covered in the previous uh, presentation and uh, there is a application of gametocytes and use of uh, cytoplasmic male sterility and use of genic male sterility and in that we have seen the egms that means environmentally induced or sensitive gene genic male sterility and below this we have two groups that is the tgms tgms mean temperature sensitive genic male sterility and pgms that is a photosensitive genic male sterility all these topics have been covered in the previous presentation and you can watch that videos for these details and in this presentation we are specifically seeing on the three line method of uh, hybrid seed production especially cytoplasmic genic male sterility system and in this uh, method and there are three parents are involved for the production of hybrid and uh, again and we can achieve 100% male sterility in this uh, cgms system and as i told there are three lines first line is a line that is a sterile line this is used as a female parent and b line is the fertile line and it is the maintainer line it is used in to maintain the a line which is the sterile line both a and b line are isogenic lines except pollen fertility the pollen is sterile in a line and it is a fertile pollen is fertile in the case of b line and after uh, maintaining the a line and the a line has to be crossed with r line which is the restore line that means it restores the fertility of the a line and you can get the offspring that is the f1 hybrid that is the f1 hybrid this is the three line method in short and uh, we need some requirements for the three line hybrid seed production or hybrid development and uh, there are three lines the first one is a line we can see some of the recurrent requirements of the a line and a line should be stable in sterility and generation after generation it should be very stable with respect to sterility 
and it should have well developed floral traits for outcrossing that is more important we are not doing any high hand pollination it is the random pollination it's outcrossing and should be easily and should have wide spectrum and strongly to be restored that is the another requirement for the a line Regarding the requirements of the B line, it should be a well-developed floral traits with large pollen load, heavy pollen load. So, the, there must be outcrossing if it is a less pollen load and there may be a poor fertilization or pollination, whatever it may be. And it should have a better combining ability with the A line. And regarding the requirements of R line, it should be strong restorer of the capacity and should, a, should also have a good combining ability. And again, this R line should have a large pollen load, normal flowering tracts and also timing. There should not be any non-synchronization of flowering. That is the major problem in hybrid seed production as well as hybrid development and both the parents should synchronize as far as flowering is concerned. Again, we will be seeing some of the characteristics of the female parent and male parent. Female parent is, is the A line and male parent I mean this is the R line that is used for the hybrid seed production purpose and the female line should be a high yielder and should have a good characteristics so seed characteristics and should be a pest and disease resistant and should maintain a male sterility always especially 100% sterility should have been maintained and it should be a resistant to lodging that is more important as far as our line is concerned that is the male line should be a should have a good pollen production long shedding period and the plant height should be more or less uh, same height of the female parent or little bit uh, taller than the female parent and it should restore the fertility of the female parent that is the A line that is just a right line and we can see the flow diagram how it is being uh, produced the three line method by using three line method and if you take the seed production chain and this uh, the generation system we have nucleus seed that is being maintained by the breeder and from from the nucleus seed we can produce the breeder seed and this breeder seed should again be multiplied in larger quantities to foundation seed and this foundation should seed act as a parent line for the production of certified seed stage there are about main three stages involved in the production of hybrid uh, development not only the hybrid seed production as well as the varietal seed production so in the case of three line method and as i told this is the a line which is sterile line that is used as a female parent to maintain this you have to cross the a line with b line which is the fertile line so you can get a line b a line and this should be done separately in separate field and similarly the B line has to be multiplied to small quantity or larger quantity at breeder stage itself and this is done in a separate field and again R line restorer line will also be multiplied in a separate field or in a separate place and all these multiplication this stage is the breeder stage production and again these breeder seed should be multiplied in larger quantity so that it can be supplied to the certified seed production uh, agencies as a foundation seed so the same step whatever we followed in the breeder stage stage and the same steps has to be repeated here also we have to maintain and produce the a line and again b line and also r line at foundation stage 
11 and after producing after maintaining all these things that has to be given to the the farmers progressive farmers or seed companies seed agencies for the production of f1 hybrid seed and in this f1 hybrid seed production the a line is used as a female line that is the sterile line and R line is used as male parent which is the restorer line which is the fertile line and this is the certified stage and offspring we get by crossing A into R will give the hybrid F1 and for this CGMS system I can go to few examples classical example this method is being followed in rice sorghum pearl millet or bajra and sunflower and uh, now we can see the what are all the advantages and disadvantages of three line hybrid system if you take the advantages and there is a stable male sterility with respect to the a line and if you take the advantages there is a limited germplasm source as far as uh, uh, CMS, the sterility is concerned, as well as the restorer line. And this system requires an extra step for parental seed production. In previous uh, slides, I told about uh, three stages, breeder stage, foundation stage and certificate stage. So it has to come through a long period for production of F1 hybrid. And the CMS breeding is time consuming. The sterility maintain, maintenance is the time con consuming process as well as laborious process. And we can finally see the examples of uh, different uh, hybrids. And if you take the single line hybrid, I discussed this one in the previous uh, presentation and the Napier Bajra hybrid 21 grass that is the single line hybrid example and if you take the two line hybrids by following the hand emasculation and dusting and we can produce hybrids in the case of cotton tomato chili and bendy and as i told the detasseling is done is being followed only in the maize hybrid seed production and uh, the third one is the use of male sterile lines and CMS system and this is mostly followed in ornamental crops and GMS system that is being followed in red gram and castor where the sterility mechanism is not being maintained and here in the GMS system and if you take the certified seed production of uh, yeah, the male parent and female parent in the seed production plot there is a 50% male sterile parent is uh, there and again 50% the fertile parent is there fertile lines the fertile lines has to be removed and then it is the sterile line is allowed to for outcrossing with male parent so it is also a, again labor uh, laborious process and uh, it, there is a loss in yield because of reduction in the number of plants per acre and by using envro egms that is environmentally sensitive or induced genic male city this is being followed in rice crop and in this EGMS, there are two types. One is PGMS, that is a photosensitive genic male sterility. Again, it's uh, used in rice. DGMS, TGMS, that is the thermosensitive genic male sterility. Again, it is followed in the rice crop for the production of hybrids. And um, the three line hybrid is uh, concerned. Uh, this is being mostly exploited in rice, sorghum, bajra and sunflower. Now we can see uh, the final uh, diagrammatic representation of development of hybrids by using different methods. 
and the single line breeding and napier is being crossed with bajra cross to produce nb21 and again this is being multiplied asexually that means slips are being multiplied and that is supplied to the growers or farmers for further multiplication and the second one is the two line breeding and there is a manual method and by doing hand emasculation and pollination in cotton we can produce hybrids by using detasseling we can produce hybrids in the maize and the genic male sterility is concerned and the female parent and if in the female parent has told earlier there is a 50% sterile line and 50% fertile line so you have to remove the 50% of the population of that is sterile i mean fertile parents so that the remaining 50% sterile par parent the female parent is allowed to cross with the uh, male parent that produce uh, f1 hybrid is this is being followed in cotton and other trap by using gametocytes chemically by chemical means that's, uh, that that mostly the malic hydrazide and ethyl SMA and ZMA by using this we can also produce two line hybrids and again the EGMS environmental genetic male sterility and there are two types uh, TGMS mostly being followed in rice and the if this if the uh, field is exposed to the higher temperature that is more than 32 degrees celsius that is a day temperature and 24 degrees centigrade night temperature the plant will behave as a fertile line the same plants when it is exposed to the low temperature like uh, low below 24 degrees celsius during daytime and 18 degrees celsius during night time the, those plants will give sterile in nature and regarding the pgms and if you expose the plants to more than 14 hours of day length that will yield to sterile in nature and if it is exposed to lesser than 13 one three hours of day length it will give fertile parents so by using this we can produce hybrids in rice and three line system is concerned cgms and you have a and b line and the you can produce uh, the sterile line by crossing with isogenic line b line and that is used as uh, uh, female parent and maintain maintainer line b line and you can cross the a line with the r line that is the restorer line you can get f1 hybrids so with this we will be completing the how the hybrids are being uh, developed and released by using three different methods as a single line breeding three two line breeding and also the three line breeding system of hybrids hybrids and uh, thank you very much for listening my presentation kindly watch this video and like this video and share this video to your friends and you kindly comment as well as subscribe this youtube thank you very much